Hey guys, welcome back to Choose Your Own Path. So today, uh, we are starting a new project and it's to do with wood. We have ourselves a rocking chair. Check it out, beautiful. Lady dropped it off. So what we're gonna do with this chair is we gotta sand it right down. Then we're making a Boston Bruins chair. I'll show a pic of the chair that she wants. Uh, it to look like when we're doing the work. So we'll show you the process of, and I say we, so I think I'm talking about me and somebody else. Nobody here but me. Maybe I'll get my boys to help me. <laughs> so we're going to have some yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow. Same with down there, yellow, black, yellow on there. And a Boston Bruin kind of a logo right here. It's going to be black and yellow. Lots of work to do. Fun project, I'm telling you, I'm just stoked. The back is kind of feeling okay. Uh, I'm not going to say it's 100%, but uh, this is going to be awesome. I love this kind of stuff, and I'm really glad that, you know, she commissioned me to do this piece. Very good friend of mine, family friend, um, back from my hometown. So we will get on that process. We'll start it, and we'll show you the steps that I'm going to do here and there right so hey choose your own path guys this is awesome thanks for watching guys day one of the chair this is what we're going we're gonna sand it right down and i'm saying we this time because i got my second oldest boy in here jeremy he's helping me out um get this all done so what we're doing is we're trying to get the darkness right out of it so we can get back to the wood when that's all sanded out, we're going to put a primer, a white primer on it, and then we'll go with the black, yellow, black, yellow, and then we're going to carve something on the top for them as a Boston Bruin. That's what she wants. So it's getting there. A couple of good hours of work. Just the sanding, the hardest part, and the painting is easiest. So, uh, yeah, nice. we'll get back to you. Quick update on what I did. Um, sanded it down. Took all the black, like it was a dark, dark brown they want this to be black with yellow stripes on it and with a boston bruins uh signature on the top like we're going to carve that on a piece of wood and then have it stuck up there so uh primed it with a gray uh, it's a, a gray primer this is the second coat so it's pretty sunny out here today and it's really warm so that's awesome about time we get some nice weather um little note tip for everybody dollar store brushes stay away from them do not use them i cheaped out on buying a dollar store brush figuring it's only for the primer good god i'll never do that again i'm picking hairs off of this brush that are left on here they are crap get a good quality paintbrush remember the steps of it all do you really like your customers yeah buy quality paint also does not cheap paint that's good paint i don't know what it is but whatever um take your time Make sure you hit all the spots. Sand it very nicely. This chair had um, da damage to it already. I tried sanding it down. I don't want to play with it any more than that. You'll never see it. So I had to just kind of cover it. Just take your time, guys. Look around, whatever. Make sure you got all the pieces. Get all that damn hair off it if you're using a cheap brush. Don't do it, though. And, uh, yeah, go from there. So this will dry for at least about two, three hours. And then... We need to get the paint on it, so we have to run to the store to get the paint. Okay, so there it's done. The chair is finished. Sharp kitty. With the Boston Bruins that uh, they wanted. I mean, it's carved, it's hand carved, it's routered and sanded and carved. It's handmade. A um, couple of little things I couldn't fix up. The paint, I guess some black got there and I couldn't get it to blend through, but they're okay with that. Um, the chair itself, I did not build, of course, I told you guys that. It's, I sanded down, refinished it kind of thing, and then um, basically put a black from, this was a dark brown to she wanted black, well, the Boston Bruins logo, and then I just wood glued the sign to the back, so that'll be holding it. What are you doing? And uh, so that'll be on there for, you know, put the clamps on there for the, the night kind of thing till tomorrow and then uh, yeah so it turned out pretty good it's a little tacky and that's the paint um the paint takes a long time to dry i guess i don't know 
I've never done this before, so would I do it again? Mm, I don't know. Not really sure. Anyway, uh, like, subscribe, share. Uh, check me out on uh, Facebook if you want. We're on there too. And uh, tip jar at the bottom if you're interested in helping donate, keep the projects going. I will thank every one of you guys. You guys are awesome. So if I can do it, you can do it. And uh, choose your own path. Say bye, Missy. <laughs> <laughs>